Nine. Eight, 31 years. A bat, a tiny little bat came for 31 yeah. years. I'm stuck, but the bat's absolutely amazing. Okay. Lynn Harvey. Ooh, yes. Lynn. Lovely Lynn. Lovely Lynn. Every year she makes us a super tea cosy. What do you think it's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want audience guesses. Oh, Look at that. Is that what is great? it? Oh. Yeah, what sort of owl? What sort of owl? Well, it's a crocheted owl. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eagle owl. Thank you so much, Lynn. We love your Thank tea Thank you very much, Lynn. Now, this whole idea of crocheting, I can't say this was a crocheting. Sorry, just stay there. This whole, whole idea of crocheting has been picked up and it has been turned, I think we can reveal a brand new, extraordinary art form involving crochet. Michaela, over to you. Is Shona there? Shona, come on in. Shona, come in. Come on Sit in. here. Show us. Yes, wow, of course. Shona, that is Absolutely incredible. Thanks. Thank you. Did, did you do your hat as well? <laughs> I did. Yeah. That, that is extraordinary. Now, this is what, what do you actually call this, Shona? Um, I call it crochet dermy. Crochet dermy. Yeah. So it's a mixture of crochet and taxidermy. I was just going to explain it, but yes, that's okay. it. So, so is there a real hair inside there? Bits no. of hair. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Is there a real? Well, this is real teeth. No, there's nothing. No, there's nothing real no, inside it. No, at all. not at all. Okay. Reproduction teeth. How long does it take you to do something like that? So these are actually really tiny ones for me. Um, they probably took about that would take about two months ish, something two like that. Two months work. Mm -hmm. oh, but it is a small project for me. I have worked on one single project for two years. You worked on one project for two years. I did, and that was for the Olympics, wasn't yes. it? Oh, we've, look, we've got Here a we go, oh, there it word. is. My goodness that me. That is enormous. Absolutely it's vast. So this is dinky. How, how difficult was that to do? Um, it That's was amazing. difficult in that it was difficult to keep going for two years. That was the, that was the main challenge with that one. Well, sore fingers, basically. Uh, <laughs> three, I used to put my hands in ice at the end of the day. And, um, Seriously? Really? Yeah. But you know, most people, when they decide to crochet or knit, will do something like a scarf or a hat. <laughs> <laughs> what made you jump from that to doing wildlife? Um, well, I, well, it's probably not fit for here, but it's art... No, not that. It's just art theory <laughs> is, is what was behind it. Um, and then the animals sort of came in as a really accessible thing to use. Have you always been that. a lover of wildlife? Um, I'm keen on animals, especially my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a by any chance, is it? <laughs> what fascinates me, Shona, is that you seem to be following the muscle groups here as well, don't you? I do. I try and highlight um, the anatomy of each animal that I do. So I freestyle it. I just start with one stitch and just keep going, just respond to the Absolutely astonishing. Shapes. Lynn, who did our lovely owl there, is a fan of yours. Yes, it's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, she's great. She is. She really must get her. Oh, it's a very close one. Have you ever crocheted a moth? <laughs> yeah, have you gone uh, into insect? No. Because that's the enemy of all of your work, isn't it? <laughs> 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 what do you do about moths, seriously? It is a really serious question. Um, I think... I've just been lucky to date, oh. especially with, with the uh, line yeah, project that we saw ones. earlier yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was in a one, one static place for two years, so that was a real worry. Yeah. Right. Thank you very, yeah. very well, much indeed you. for bringing them in. They're absolutely fantastic. A little round of applause. Thank you very, very much. Right. Here's something very, very extraordinary that we've noticed. Um, well, we haven't noticed it. You've noticed it. We have noticed them here as well. We're calling them frost flowers. Now, John Bingham has sent us this picture. It looks like cotton wool, but it's not. They only form in the frost. And Doreen Johnson has sent us another picture. Look at that.